Most fractures of the hand are best treated with a short period of protection in a splint, a brace, or a cast for anywhere from two to four weeks depending on the age of the patient, the type of fracture, and the location of the fracture. The fracture shown here is a stable metacarpal fracture. It has a simple pattern, it's not displaced, and it does not enter a joint, and this makes it an ideal fracture for cast treatment. The fracture shown here, on the other hand, is a much more unstable pattern of fracture, and it has some displacement, and is probably best treated with some type of surgery, which may involve pins, plates, or screws to be applied to the fracture, to stabilize the fracture from within, rather than trying to rely on a cast to hold the fracture together from the outside. Here, Amy Kern, one of our medical assistants, shows us how to make a ulnar gutter cast. This is a specific type of cast which is very useful for metacarpal and phalangeal fractures. The lightweight cotton fabric you see being applied is called stockinette and it makes the skin a lot less itchy for the patient. The cotton roll which is being applied here is called web roll and it is a form of padding which helps to make the cast much more comfortable for the patient. Sometimes this can also be available in a waterproof variety made out of Gore-Tex or other waterproof material and can be very popular in the summertime when people are trying to go swimming with their casts at the beach or a pool and can also make it much easier to take a shower as you would not have to then wear a plastic bag over the cast. After all of the cotton has been applied, the stockinette is folded back over the edges of the web roll just to make the edges of the cast neater and to prevent the younger patients, especially small children, from picking at the web roll and pulling all the padding out of the edges of the cast. The final layer of the cast is a fiberglass material and in this case the patient has chosen red. This can be available in other colors of course. Fiberglass rolls on initially uh, soft but then goes through a chemical reaction where it polymerizes and hardens quickly within a few minutes. Another option which used to be popular in the past was plaster, uh, but nowadays fiberglass is much more common as it's a uh, little bit lighter in weight and easier to handle uh, with a little bit less mess. Finally the cast is molded into its final position and you can see here the freedom of motion that it allows the patient's other fingers while completely immobilizing the fingers, uh, at least the parts of the fingers that do need to be immobilized. Thank you very much for joining us. To learn more, join us at our website, www.nwoa.com.